Hello, skateboarders. Welcome to TSM Live Show, Season 5, Episode 1. I'm your host, Tommy Zam. Today's guest is... Marcel Johnson, Isaiah Johnson, and music by Don Elway. Let's get this show started. How you doing there? This is your boy Mike York. You might be familiar with me in skateboard classic videos like the Mouse video, the Yeah Right video. Well, I've been riding these Bones bearings for about 20 years now, and they're some of the best bearings, best product I ever had. Go get you some. Let's bring on Isaiah Johnson. What's up, dude? How you doing? How you doing? Good, bro. Good, good. How was your trip up? It was fast. It was quick. It was cool. No traffic. Where'd you come up from? Uh, San Marcos. Okay. Uh, like San Leo area, kind of. Hell yeah, It was dude. fast. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on the show, man. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, man. Like, great-ass Long Beach. Great bar, great food. Very thankful. What'd you eat? The... How was it? Mushroom Swiss? Mushroom Swiss? Yeah, it's fire. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's really good, yeah. So you did this um, day in the life with us. Um, you ready to check this out? Yes, please. Yeah, well, yeah let's, like, let's, uh, check, yeah, let's check this dude. day in life out. Dude, thank you, man. Stoked. Hey, how's it going? Let's come inside. Welcome to my day in life. Today we're probably just gonna go skate, go get some food. Um, we're gonna head to my favorite spot, Encinitas. It's called Lofties. They have like the best coffee and the uh, acai bowls there. Before we go, I just want to show you guys some of these boards. This one's sick. There's a whole story behind this one. I didn't even know it was from the BLM issue with Rasher. Um, they actually came out with a board with like all the black influential skateboarders from over time. Like we have, you know, like there's Keenan Milton and, you know, and Lupe Fiasco. And I didn't even know if I had my name, I guess, like in there. I had no idea, it was really random, but yeah, it's, I don't know. It's pretty sick to even see that. I just turned pro for this board brand called Esoteric. They're out of Florida, happened like two months ago. The guy's name is John, like the owner. It definitely gave me like a really cool opportunity for that. And then their team graphics that just came out. We have like the Jesus deck and then uh, my favorite is the infinity board. Just has this like cool little, it has like a Maya graphic or something like that. It looks to me, I don't know. And then we have this pretty cool Geisha board. It's like a Japanese graphic. I don't know, it's pretty sick. Yeah, let's go skate, go have some fun. Should be a pretty chill day. Yeah, so just a chai tea. Yeah, yeah chai tea latte. Yeah, that's about it, yeah. You got a whole mocha right in there? Uh, yeah, please, man. <laughs> Alright, so go get our IVs. Yeah, hey, so. Alright, so we're going to stop by my IV place. It's right here, it's called ASAP IVs. It's for like vitamins and like they give me B12 shots. Sometimes performance enhancing like IVs. It's a good spot. I come here like once a week, so it just, just makes my body like feel good and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna come here and check inside real fast. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good morning. Hi, you have an appointment? Uh, yeah, let me check. I have one, I think at 10. Yeah, at 10 a.m. Awesome, and your Isaiah code? Yeah. Awesome, I'll get that red start up you right now, okay? Cool, man, thank you. Absolutely. Sweet. 
It's like a cold feeling inside. It feels like hot in a way. But you, you like instantly feel it though, like soon when they turn the, the IV on. I mean, I, I like to do it after I'm done skating, but you can do it before. You just feel like even better, I guess. It, it's really nice. Yeah, I definitely recommend it though. And you already have a bandage underneath, so I just have to take the catheter out and you're all set, my friend. Cool, thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, that's done. We're gonna go to a local skate shop, check in. I'm gonna get some product and stuff and then we're gonna go skate and continue the rest of our day. I've been on local for about three years. Um, the way I got on, they had an event at Lakeside Skate Park. It was like a game of skate, and then it had like, I think it was like, like an anniversary um, event there they had, but yeah, I ended up winning. And uh, the owner, Mark, I guess noticed me. And then I went to the shop the next day and just you know asked if I could hopefully get hooked up and he gave me a chance. Three years later, I'm still here, just supporting the shop. Um, he has my, actually put my board over here. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Hooked it up, put my pro board on the, um, on the wall and stuff. But yeah, just happy to be on the shop and stuff and all the support he gives me, so. All right, so <clears throat> we're at Lakeside Skate Park. Second time coming here, I live so far up north, I don't really get a chance to skate down here a lot. We're gonna have a little session. We're kind of early still in our day. We're gonna skate for like 10 minutes and then, or probably like 20 minutes, and then probably like move it on. I hate, I hate skating new boards just straight out. I like to kind of like warm up first. Uh, and maybe that's just me, but I don't know. All right, we're gonna, I guess, cruise. Let's see what's up. All right, little manual pad. Here, I hit this flat bar. Oh. Oh. Hey, we'll try and null it. That was manual. Whoa, that guy just died almost. All right, sorry. Oh, first try. I'm gonna try that trick again. I'm gonna try to shove out the. Oh, wow. so much. Dude, the corner got me so bad. I got this time. <laughs> My legs didn't explode. Yeah, I need yeah, all because of you, man. <laughs> I came yeah. over as I do. He's got that. He's watching. Uh, he's, got, he's got that. It's just a flick, man. He got that one flick. See, it wasn't for him, though. The love, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Now, continue. <laughs> that was fun little session here. So we're going to go to Solana Beach now. Go skate that. I have a skate lesson there. I do skate lessons and stuff, too. So uh, I'm going to go meet up with um, one of my clients for an hour, skate there, and then continue the day. That was sick, man. I always like trip out the seeing Canton Russell. It's just, I don't know, like living in California, you see all these pros you like grew up watching and stuff. It's crazy. I always fan out though. It's like hard for me to keep it serious. <laughs> oh, so bad. <laughs> and I just like switch it up Nolly. All right, so this is one of my guys. My buddy here, Winston, been doing lessons with him for like, I think a year or two almost. He's a little shy, I know, I know, but he's getting so good and it's like been fun to skate with him and stuff. So yeah, I always like trip out because he's like so young and we've been doing this for, I think a year now. I taught him how to rock and roll on like certain stuff like this. There you go. So you're going to roll towards me. 
All right, let's go. Yes, dude. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about, man. Three, two, one, lean forward. So we had a great session at um, Salona Beach Park. Got a great skate lesson with one of my clients, Winston. And yeah, dude, he's like only six and he's getting so good to just watch him progress over time. Makes me a proud, you know, proud teacher. So, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go eat. We're gonna go to Monarch. Um, it's been a chill day though. Had some fun so far. We're at Monarch, we just skated, I'm hungry. I am going to get some beer and like some food or something. Uh, I'll just do like an IPA. Um, uh, I know there's so many. I like the Marlin IPA, it's pretty uh, like a West Coast style. Made right down the street where you're at, right? So I'll do that, yeah, I'll do that, man. That's cool. Sweet, uh, thank you so much, man. All right, thanks for following me today. It was pretty chill. We just had some food at the Monarch in Del Mar. Um, yeah, great food. And I don't know, it was a cool day. We went to local, went to ASAP IV, um, did a skate lesson and it's the end of the day. So I'm probably gonna end it here, but thanks for following me today. It means the world. Thank you at TSM Media for hooking me up with this amazing project and Tyler, the filmer, for coming out with me and uh, just following my day and stuff. So, see you guys soon. Thanks for following me. Dude, that was a crazy day in the life, dude. You see it? Dude, how, how's your hip, man? Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I got broke. <laughs> it, it was cool. Kind of like. Yeah, it was whatever. <laughs> but it, it got me hyped to do, um, I like kickflip this gap at the park and stuff. So it got me a little spark to skate more. Okay. I'm like weird, like if I fall really hard, it just, I mean, I'm pretty sure for other skaters too, like if you fall really hard, it kind of gets your adrenaline up to keep skating, keep yeah. going. Hell yeah, dude. So, that, it, was, it was a dope yeah. one, man. And that's cool that you, um, you know, I mean, you teach kids how to skate and stuff. How'd you get into that? Yeah, so I've been doing skate lessons for like two years. It was kind of random. So my girlfriend, uh, she's on these uh, mom pages. She mm -hmm. has like two really cool girls, but um, she's on these mom pages and uh, we we're giving boards out. I have like spare boards in my garage and stuff I was giving out. And we post this thing on, uh, it's called the She's of Santa Leo. It's uh -huh. a bunch of women. Like okay. a women's group, I guess. Oh, sick. And uh, I was like giving boards out and stuff, and uh, I posted a video, or she posted a video of me skating. And then I guess people were interested if I did skate lessons. And we're like, oh, uh, yeah, I guess, sure, we'll just go for it. And yeah, it's been like two years, so yeah, I've been doing lessons for a while now. It's pretty cool. Dude, that's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, it's fun. And then tell us about the IV thing, dude. That was pretty sick, dude. Like, how'd you get involved in that? Oh, it's my girl dude <laughs> oh, she hooked you up with that oh uh, no well like yeah i mean, I mean your, your girl always hooks you yeah. up with everything <laughs> <laughs> we we both kind of like we both kind of talk about like different brands together and try to get involved like collaborations with uh but for them um you know you're a skateboarder you want to stay healthy and stuff and like kind of keep your body up so we looked for asap iv like an iv it was kind of random but we found them on google uh-huh and they give you like vitamin IVs and uh, like cryotherapy work and like massage uh, work and all this stuff. Okay. With, and, a, with uh, a little happy ending at the end? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, nothing, <laughs> no, nothing like that. But uh, no, it's cool. Like they, they support me and they like my skating and they want to make sure like I'm healthy when I can skate. So okay. I go there like uh, twice a month and I get like a little vitamin IV and um, 
sometimes cryotherapy work. Okay. So you'll be in this like little ice chamber for like five minutes, but it's negative 190 degrees. Holy shit, dude. But, like, negative? Yeah, it's, it's, it's. Dude, I'll be freezing yeah. my balls on that shit, dude. Yeah, it feels good, but it's for like five minutes. So you go in there and like the, the whole point of it, uh, all your, you get really cold, but all your new blood or all your old blood goes to your chest. And then when you get out of the tank, all your new blood kind of just like goes to your whole body and stuff. It's, it's I don't know, it's it's just to make your body feel good. That's pretty so, cool, yeah, man. I, I'm gonna have to come up and go up there with you one day, man. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't know about <laughs> minus 109 degrees, man. I mean, I mean, I have to wear like a fur jacket. I mean, I know, I know I'm hairy already, so you know, that might help out a little bit. Yeah, it, it's not like cold weather. It's, it's not like cold, it's um, it's like, Hydrogen, I can't even say the fucking word, dude. It's, it's all good, dude. I, yeah, I fucked up it, on somebody's yeah. name, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's cool, man. They helped me out a lot. Cool, cool. And so you're pro now, man. Congratulations yeah, yeah. on that, dude. Like, how's that How's that feel, turning pro, dude? It feels like I've been doing this since I was 15 or, like, 14, 13. Okay. It feels great, man. Like, I, I moved my whole life to California, like, six years ago to try to pursue this whole skating journey and shit like that it, it worked out like i'm very blessed and thankful to skate for a brand that like supports me you know okay. and, and treats me really well it just okay. has my back in general oh yeah and what's the name of the brand uh esoteric okay. so i owe you a board i've been like slacking <laughs> so they sent me a little box here's one of my boards right here okay hook you up Oh yeah, good. Yeah, you, gotta, you can yeah, sign it if you want, man. Gotta open this. Oh, you can do it later, whatever yeah. you want. I mean, you can do it on the show. Is that cool? Yeah, you can do whatever you want, bro. Uh, I wish it was like open. Right? So, so where's this company out of? So it's out of Florida. Okay. Um, they have some like Tampa, Florida, or yeah, it's right out of Tampa. So they have a bunch of dudes in Tampa. They have a sister company called uh, Transformer Rails. Okay. So it's like it's a f so you know like a flat bar. It could be like a square, a square rail. You could turn into like a, a round rail. Okay. Or you could turn into a box, and um, it's like scissor companies, but like they're doing really good, okay. killing it right now. And oh uh, yeah. I'm just I'm just dude, I'm just thankful to be a part of like that whole company. Cool. So it's like you get like you get two sponsors. So I mean. I get hooked up with Esoteric, but then they'll like send me like a flat bar and box. Oh, that's out. sick! Dude. So, so out from your house, you have a flat bar yeah, and a box, yeah, stuff it, like dude, that. It's like it's such a blessing to have that. Dude, that's pretty rad, dude. Let's go back a little bit. I mean, you and me went on, you know, we know each other for a long time, and yeah. we went on a good little adventure to Tijuana, man. Tell us about that little experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they definitely did. I remember when we went yeah, to Tokyo. Yeah. I took you to Tokyo house, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we had fun, man. That was like my first time in Mexico. Uh, I don't think we met. I don't think we met. Nah, we just went to strip club. Dude, you wanted to go to strip club, man. Uh, I remember like that. No, you, no, you kept on going yeah. like, yo, dude. <laughs> we'll, let's go to strip club. Let's go to Tijuana, man. All right, all right, man. You sure, man? Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> but I did tell you a whole bunch of money, man. I told you not to drop your money on the first girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, she, 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 she. And do you got anything coming up for us in the year or what? Oh, or for, for, for 2022? Is it good for uh, I don't think so. I actually got a new sponsor. Okay. I didn't, I didn't have this yet. Okay. Um, I, I want to give it out to Mark and kind of local, so I got it on that disruptive truck. What? Yeah, so yeah, it's good. Good. It's just like a shock mode thing.
on Don Elway. Yeah. 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 What's up, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, man? Good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah, how you doing, man? Good, good. How was your trip up here? Shit, pretty cool. Quick little hour and 30 minutes, you feel me? Okay. Not yeah. much. And where'd you come from? San Diego. Okay. San Diego, California, man. All right, all right. You ready to get yeah, into yeah. this? Yeah, let's get it. Let's all get right, it. all right. Tell us a little bit about you. Shit, I'm from San Diego, California, you know. Been doing this for a while. Uh, I go by the name of Don Elway, Uncontrollable Entertainment, and yeah, I'm here, we in there. Okay, and how did you come up with your name? Uh, Don Elway, it's, it's a few ways, uh, it's, it manifested a few ways, but long story short, uh, really, uh, Young Don was my moniker in my streets I grew up in, so I used to play with it, Don Marino, Don Hancock, Don Elway. Oh, I like but Don me, Hancock. Me, yeah, yeah, me being a team captain and a quarterback, uh, you know, that Don Elway kind of stuck since high school, so. 
Yeah, that's really what it was. Yeah, that's, that's sick. Dude. So you used to play yeah. quarterback, man? Nah, I'm, I'm saying uh, my crew, I'm the captain oh, oh, of the oh, team. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So I'm quarterback, and E-40 said that. Okay. It's really E-40 inspired. When, you, when you're the team captain and you money stacking, you're quarterbacking. You feel okay. me? So that's right. That's really where it comes from. Yeah, long right. range, quarterbacking, all that. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And then, um, right so what was it like growing up in San Diego? Uh, it's cool. You know, it's a, a melting pot. You got you got a lot of uh, got a lot of different things to choose from. So you know, I didn't I didn't indulge in the good and the bad and the happy and the sad out that motherfucker. So yeah, we got beaches and we got the urban community. You know, I chose the mic, of course, at an early age to uh, actually document what I see. So you listen to my music, you'll really get get a clear picture of really what goes on in the city. You feel me? That's awesome. And how did yeah. you get into music? Like family? Um, uh, like your mom played like records for you? Or my, uh, I always like music. I always listen to the, my brother, you know, motherfuckers be drinking at the pad, listen to music, E-40 or whatever. But um, my, my best friend that I rap with, Adonis the Hottest, he really got me, uh, he was already doing music at a young age. So that's really, that's really where I got the inspiration. He was doing shows as a kid, so he really got me, got me wanting to do it. I had hoop dreams first, what? you know, so. That's sick, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And and then like, is it hard to write your music? I mean, do you feel? Nah, nah, I've been doing it since a kid, so it's second nature. It's like riding a bike. I would, it would, it would kind of be like a skater, you know, yeah. like, like you know, it's, it, it had a growing pains at first, but you know, I still might fall, but uh, you know. You, you ever skateboard yourself? No. No. But I, I have friends that did, so yeah, yeah. I, you I, never I, jumped on the board, right? I know that analogy. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have, but you know, nah, I never, I never stuck to it. I feel like if I would have stayed at it, I'd be good. But you know, it was either sports or rapping, and I, I was, I was good at, I was a tunnel vision. You feel me? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's awesome. And then like, you know, was you know with LA music, um, hip hop scene is huge, and San Francisco huge. Do you feel like San Diego's more underground? People don't know about hip hop in San Diego uh, that much, or what? I would say that yeah, we ain't got our turn yet, but you know, just like probably back in the '90s, we had Outkast, but like Atlanta wasn't represented, and you see that's all that's represented. So I feel like once we get our get our uh, our even chance, our fair chance, we got we got Arsenal and Ammo to keep going, make a big run like Atlanta did. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And do you yeah. feel like? Do you feel like now, like hip hop is getting big in San Diego? Like it's it's starting to like. It's been big, but yeah, I think it's uh, along with social media, it's starting to get a bigger. Uh, like people starting to look over, trying to peek over that gate, but we still it still needs some work. But yeah, I feel like I feel like it always have music always been prevalent. It's just that we you know because we got the Mitchie Slicks and the Jail Felonies that have actually been there, you know, mm -hmm. so. But we needed somebody to really break that seal, so it's like, um, yeah, yeah, it's getting better. It just, I feel like it's just more rappers now, so it's, you know, you, you try, you try, you got more tries, you got more picks out of the uh, the lottery pick, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and do you feel like, you know, like, like how how do you know? Because you know, you got like L.A. was all known for the gangster yeah. rap, and, and yeah. the Bay Area was like more for like Dell, the hyper, you know, that that chill stuff. And then so do you, do you feel like? Your music is, is is like a total different gender, or is it like the same or different? Uh, I would say it's hip hop. Like even the Bay, the Bay is got their fair share of gangster too. You know, you got the you got you got either where you got Mac Dre was with a suave Mac gangster, or you got the the, the other side where it's really good, real gutter. So everywhere got their gutter, everywhere got their. I, I'm just um, I feel like I would project just. Everything, you feel me? So, like I said, I done been in, I done seen a good and a bad in my city. So, I could tell both. You know, I don't gotta tell just one side. So that's really what it is. It's, it's hip hop, and it's really to show you that every city has everything in it, and, and not to be one sided. I don't gotta show you the gangster part. I can show y'all this. I can show y'all how a gangster chill at the beach. You feel me? So, <laughs> yeah, all day. Hey, we all chill at the beach, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sure. Definitely, definitely. But now that's pretty cool. I mean, because I mean, I listen to some of your tracks and listen to your albums and stuff, and and like, I love it. Yeah, I mean, appreciate it. Has it has that like to me personally, it has that like chill vibe. Right. You know, yeah. like like you're just driving down the street, window down, blunt in your hand, yeah. a couple of hotties on the side, yeah. and you're just jamming down the, to the beach. Yeah, like you said, love. gangsters at the beach. You yeah, know? yeah. Hey, yeah, that yeah. might be a song well, right yeah, there. Yeah, that yeah, might yeah, be a yeah. song. Straight up, straight up. So how do you come up? Like, how do you come up with your names of your songs? Is there, like, different things, or like? Yeah, it's pretty random. Uh, 
I, I remember when I was younger, I used to have a name first, and that was like the cliche way I thought you had to do it, but it comes it comes either way. Sometimes sometimes I could be saying saying a certain word throughout the whole song, and that song, that's still, the, the title will be something that's not even said in the song sometimes. Yeah. Kind of like a book, you yeah, yeah. or a movie. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you might have a book called True Grind, but you never hear the word True Grind in the book at all. It's just yeah. telling you about the True Grinder. Yeah. You know, so it's like, I, I approach it like a book. So it might, it might have the, uh, it might, the, the, the idea might come from the song, or it might come from what I was thinking during the song, or a word in the song, or. You know. That's awesome, man. Because I mean, I, I'm not. I can't. I mean, my MCs. Are, right. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I sometimes I, I'll sit in the back shower and try to spit some game, like, oh, right. you know, I'll tell you something. But I'm like, ah, that's, that's nah, just yeah, my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do it for you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> but I have a lot of respect. I mean, for for all types of musicians, hip hop right. artists, you know, anybody that can play right, and stuff right, like that, right. because. It takes so much talent for you guys to go out there and like perform in front of a lot of people. Yeah, Have you, so when you first time performed a lot of people, did you get jitters? Did you get? Do you remember it, uh, your first time performing? I think till this day, it's like a, um, probably the first time was more jitters. But we used to do like talent shows at the rec I grew up at and all type of shit. I used to rap other people's shit. But like for the most part, um, it's kind of like a fight. Whether even a fight that you know you're gonna win. Uh, I still might get the butterflies and all that shit, but as soon as I, as soon as it starts, it's all over, you know. I mean, yeah. that shit just clear out. Now it's just, it's a fight. You, you get know? that focus tunnel, and you're yeah, just like, boom, yeah. man, that's right, dude. And you got a track for us. Tell us about this track you about the fourth. Uh, uh, Corleone. It's called Corleone. Um, you know, spin off, another spin off. Don Elway, Don Corleone. You know, so um, yeah, yeah. This is a song I did probably like a year ago that caught a lot of traction in my city. So. That's usually my, the favorite one that they want to hear yeah. for now, you know. Okay. All right. Well, we're ready. Yeah. We're ready. Guys, let's jam this out, man. Corleone. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Stay tuned. We got two action packs on for y'all. This is a little intro. Once again, it's Tom Rhyming, baby. Y'all can interview two out. Let's get it. Hey. Wait, wait. One time. Let hey. Hey, go. Bottom of the map. Top rhyming, baby, I'm a product of the ass. Call me that your lady, I hit that George Everson walk when I walked out George Bailey. Air one zone, shit been feeling forced lady. This is that shit that make your own team look at the score crazy. But they know not what they do. Lord forgive them, poor baby. I said it all for the squad and I ain't bluffed yet. I just took my homie charge like I ain't up next. Shit, grinding all night. I treat the block like drunk sex. Like a bitch, but fuck it, baby, wearing that sundress. Your hands shake and smile don't match. Shit, suspect. I was OT, trying to get a grip in my love slip. The captain of the boat, how could I just jump shit? But the shit you stick with is the shit you stuck with. It's lonely at the top, solo bolo in it. Yeah, I know the play before the snap. Tony Romo in the box, hey. Like rap star, lifestyle, might don't make it. Married to the game, no bridal arrangements. Elway, you got a gift inside, don't waste it. Let it shine, I got it like a light show, hey. hey. This little light of mine, I'm gon' wave it. She thirsty and I'm looking like a slight oasis. I gave her insurance like a Geico agent. And ever since it's cash on arrival, baby. And the flow rare like a white rhino, baby. And the Rolex big time like I know, baby. Pops got out, I thought he'd be a change figure. He did 12 years and came out the same nigga. Hey, bottom of the map, huh? Top ramen, baby, I'm a product of the ass. Huh. Call it at your lady, quarterback, seven rings. Shit, I might be Dom Brady, but when you think of me, you think D, D that's champ baby. Two kickers in the 6,000 watts. And I'm banging, and I'm straight ball, turn the train, five block hanging. You know you couldn't match the endurance that I came with. Got the whole city fucking with this one way shit. Yeah. All right, I warmed up real quick. I got something else for y'all. This song right here, this song we talked about in an interview, it's called Party On. You feel me? Shout out True Grind. Clean this motherfucker, man. I call myself Don Elway. Better known as Don Cordeon, you know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah, TSN, we in the house. Yeah, True Grind in the house. Uncontrollable Entertainment in the house. Hey, man. All y'all that's here, we in the house, right? Hey, what time? Look. Hey, they mad cause all these hoes be on me. Yeah, bro, they on me. Yeah, body on me, yeah, my opinion shit is dying, on me. Find it like you solid, then you bolding on me. Ooh, I know why they mad, cause all these hoes be on me. Yeah, rolling on me, yeah, body on me, yeah, my opinion shit is dying, on me. Look, let me see if I can get this for y'all. Hey, 
Ay, they looking like who went back. Gucci built the shoe to back. Baby trying to throw that pussy on me, bitch, I'm moving back. I'm caught with this running. I still a noodle back. Standing ovation, she stood up and made that booty clap. Speeding on this Coronado, for the autos. I been trying to fuck it like I'm Foley Water. I think it's try to test it, bitch, we going viral. Put them hands on you like the Holy Bible. Hey, I heated up 2012 Brian Wade and Chris Bosch. Remember I took a loss and they was looking at me like I was washed. Put that Rolex on my wrist, had your bitch like, oh my gosh. And these niggas copycatting ass backwards like Chris Cross. Stacking out, count fat wise in the top of lot. Blend in with the camouflage. I'm a kid man, so post bell with it, hell with it. Sometimes you'll make a bigger dub, but you gotta take an L with it. Throw me a limit, I'ma make some lemonade, then play some hell with it. Stay up on the real girl with it, yeah. Little nigga, you just show a tail like a little girl with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Out here going dumb, nigga, like a little girl. We like fuck them all, it's us against the world, and they mad. Hold me on me, roll me on me, pull me on me. Yeah, my feet and shit is dying, pull me on me. Yeah, poppin' it like you solid, think you folded on me Yeah, I know why they mad, cause all these hoes be on me Yeah, rolly on me, yeah, fully on me Yeah, my feet and shit is dying, fully on me True grind, what's up? Yeah Look, I'm chasing gold, they tryna play goalie on me C3PO, look at all this gold be on me I'm one of the ones, she tryna be my one and only Smoking in my home alone, Macaulay Culkin Tear it off like Hulk Hogan So dope, got him overdosing Niggas want that smoke, we give them locomotion Shit, overloaded, I need money overflowing I ain't tryna borrow from no one Only time you front me when you frontin' on me Goddamn, pepper and seat on that Cayenne Stop playing, fucking with them sticks and them drums Like a rock band I was doing bad, double up everything I had And I see you looking mad, but this is God playing, boy Roll the on me, roll the on me, fall the on me my opinion shit is dying for the army Pop it like you solid, then you fold it on me like a book I know why they mad, cause all these hoes be on me Roll it on me, fold it on me My opinion shit is dying for the army You popping it like you solid, then you fold it on me Hey, why you fold on me? That's my time, I appreciate y'all very much It's Don Elway Don Elway Wait, wait Woo woo Bo, bo, bo yeah, yeah, that shit is kind of Dude, that was dope, dude. Yeah, yeah. That was dope, man. So, so tell us the meaning behind that song. Oh, man, man. Uh, uh, you know, I was just sat down and did my stuff. You know, um, it wasn't really nothing. It's really self-explanatory. You listen to it, it's really, I'm just me popping my shit. Feel me? Don Corleone, so I'm telling y'all how I'm the Don. And, yeah, you know, and, 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 and the thing that come in the game get folded on, people fold on you, you know? That's All right. Oh that. yeah, that's a dope song, man. And yeah. and do you have anything coming up for 2022? Anything? A whole know? lot. You know, last year last year we dropped two different EPs, two projects, so, you know, we just want to uh, amp up the um, production rate, you know, and um, really give, give them, just keep on dropping. You know, I might record 100 songs a year and only drop 16 of them just because I dropped one album, so I'm trying to really, See, just, just really amp up the production, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you drop a lot of EPs or do you drop little Both. singles? Everything, or? yeah, yeah, you know singles, really projects. I like, I come from the era where we listen to the whole CD all, all the way through, so I try to adapt and drop shorter things because you know it's more of a, a, a microwave era, you know, yeah. but I still I still put it in the oven for them too, so. Okay, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then where can people find you at? Do you have a website? Do you uh, have I have a, a website, lwarenoway.com. And um, you can Google me on, and find me on pretty much any music platform everywhere. Music is sold, you know, so we were we worldwide with it. It's a big thing, you know, elwarenoway.com. Yeah, you already know. So guys, check them out, man, because this shit is dope. And you just dropped a new um, little single. Tell us about that. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, I dropped a new EP called Energy 2. It's the sequel to this uh, Energy 1 that I dropped earlier this year, earlier last year, actually. So, um, yeah, right before the year ended, I dropped Energy 2, so uh, go get that. We got the deluxe, uh, the deluxe co uh, physical copies over here, feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And one last thing, what can you tell the upcoming musicians, like anybody that wants to jump on the mic or DJ or anything like that? Anything you want to say to them? Yeah, if you, if you want it, you got to go hard for it, you know? You got you to gotta be willing to die for it. That's it, you know? Non-stop. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on, dude. Salute, Definitely, man. definitely, you, man. man. Thanks for and, having and me, you man. guys, check them out on Spotify, yeah. Apple Music. Yeah. Check them out. Don Elway. 
You gotta do it. Coming up next, we got Lenny Ramirez and Marcel Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. This Let's bring on Lenny Rivas. What's up, Lenny? What's up, mate? Now. How you doing, G? I'm chilling, man. Living another day, another dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. I know how it is, man. I know how it is. How's everything going with you? Good. On the grind, doing my thing uh, with the Lancer Grip, and then working with a lot of new companies. Okay. Doing collabs with like Tech Day, Diamond, Diamond, H Street. You know what I mean? Oh, let me see this. Oh, yeah, that's your board right there, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Look at that. I'm be proud of, you know, to bring back, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, hey. so Look at that, look at that right here, guys. You Grab know. that board right there, man. Yeah, that. Order that now. Yeah. Hell yeah. How, how was your trip up? Good. It was good, you know? Came from what, what part of San Diego? I woke up at the Marriott in downtown. Okay. And I was with Laurel, and we were having, you know, a good, good old time, so. Okay. And that's where I was at. All right, all right. Well, you ready to get into this? Yeah. All right, well, t you know, some people know who you are, some people don't know. Tell us a little background about you. Well, I'm from uh, San Diego, National City, California. Started skating at nine years old. And uh, that's uh, from, from my first sponsor was Street Machine. You, ever, you yeah. remember Street yeah, Machine? Yeah, Street Machine. Downtown. Yeah, that's what really, like, that's what uh, put me on or had my back and believed in me mm -hmm. at a young age. That was when Kellen and all those guys Kellen, were up for it. And, uh, yeah, that's whenever, like, that's when my career started from mm -hmm. a skate shop. Yeah. Basically looking out for me, you know, putting me under the wing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's right, dude. And then now, you know, good thing that I, I could do artwork, you know, I do lettering, so I mean, I'm into that right now. You know, okay. hustling and like doing the canvas work for people, even like wall art with like spray can graffiti, stuff like that. So. And, and you do grip tape too, right? Yep, custom work. Custom. What's the name of the grip company? Lenser Grip, really, uh, Lenser Grip. Lenser Grip? Yeah, Lenser Grip. And, and where can people find that at? I need us uh, right now through just uh, DM direct message and shit like the, the, the DM you the asked. DM. <laughs> so, the, so starting with living in San Diego, what was it like skateboarding in San Diego? Like growing up out there, was it like the prime times? Like, what, like can you like tell the audience, like the viewers, like what was it like growing up in San Diego skateboarding? Yeah, it was really to me when I was young. I, I looked up to like the Storm video of Cyrus. Mm -hmm. So that's what like. I, I was, and I, I was around him, which was Marcel Johnson was one of them too, yeah. you know? It was crazy, like, I was a young buck growing up to being around the idols that I looked up to became my friends, mm -hmm. which sounds crazy to say, like, everybody I looked up to, which is like Tyrone Olsen, uh, Brandon Turner, shit, the list goes on, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And like, uh, and they're all my homies now. Yeah. And it's like, I grew up watching them as a young buck, taking notes. And then later on, it became family. Yeah. And it's, that's what I like about skateboarding because it's, it's deep. It's deeper than just skateboarding. Yeah. It's like, it's a culture. Yeah, no, definitely is. I mean, like, you know, with skateboarding, what people don't understand, like skateboarding, skaters, once you're a skater, you're always a skater. Yeah. You know? and, and we look and at you. It's worldwide with it. Yeah. We, Whenever we you touch down, they be like, Lady Rivas, I'm like, yo, one time I traveled, I, where was that at? Like, Australia or some shit? Uh-huh. And they recognized me because I was run, running with Steve Williams. And oh, shit. But it was like, like, that shit would kind of like motivating me, you know, mm -hmm. just knowing somebody could say your whole name and looking up to you and it's like, on the other side of the world, you know? And they, and how did, and that was probably, that probably makes you like, whoa, yeah, dude. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, oh shit, this is serious. Like, skateboarding is something, like, and, um, yeah, it's like, 
I was, I was wanting to do, like, how you say, like, dream of shit and, and actually accomplish it. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, even if it's like, as a youngster, you, you dream of being in a, a magazine or sponsored, and then you, you want to be in a video, and then once you accomplish that shit, you really do it. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit. You, you know, you're yeah. living it. You're living your dream. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's dope about this, because you really think or, or dream of shit, uh -huh. and then you really do it. You yeah. Know, you, you accomplish. And I, I've done, I'm, and I'm proud of that, you know, of just little things like that, like being sponsored, being a magazine. Yeah. Shit's a big deal for a young, uh, or you know, any, any skateboarder. Yeah, exactly. You know, any skateboarder. No, definitely, definitely. And then how did you, how did you hook up with A Street? Because you wrote for another company, and then A Street, like how did that all work out together? Mm. A Street, I met a, uh, the homie Art. I met uh, Art, introduced me to Tony Mag. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there it was history. Tony Mag, like, I, I, That's a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Mag used to send me shoes from Osiris when he ran Osiris. Oh, sick. You know, so it's like, but he don't, I don't know if he knows or remembers yeah. when I was back in the day, but. Yeah, I, I know about Tony Mag shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Because yeah. was, was it A Street invented in National City or, or like in that area? No, no. Or they had a house no, out there, didn't they? Or? No. A Street is from like. I thought it was from San Diego or. No, I mean, it's San Diego. It's just like DG, like, you know, DGK yeah, yeah, yeah. from Oceanside. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the same thing with okay. them. Okay. They're Oceanside. That's right, dude. And so T Mag just liked you and was like, yo, we're going to give you a board, this and this and this. Like, yeah. How did it all work out? He was just, uh, yeah, we just were on the same page. We are trying to make some new things, new moves. And uh, we we uh, redid graphics that I already had in the past. Mm -hmm. So these are like up, up, updated graphics. That's like Matt, Matt Hensley's graphic. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. Yeah, that one's dope, dude. That's like a updated one. Okay. That's pretty rad. A collab. And then, and then go back a little bit. So you were into graffiti, into artwork and stuff like that. What got you into all that? Like, like uh, what? Just, just, uh, just being in like my neighborhood or? and like in the, you know, my hood is just like around, that's what you're almost like. It's like you're, you're raised to be in, 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 in into a, a neighborhood, you know, mm -hmm. like you don't have no choice. Yeah, yeah. You have to rep where you're from. Yeah. And that's why. I, you know, I'm always like that right now to this day. Mm -hmm. It becomes game banging. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's like if you go to, yeah, it's like if you're from uh, San Diego, you gotta represent where, where, where your town, mm -hmm. you know? And my town is National City. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, at the end of the day, that's called game banging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's crazy, you know what I mean? But I know what you mean. You know what I mean? We represent, yeah, yeah. we're gonna rep till the day we die. Exactly, exactly. It, it is what and it is. And then so like, like to me, I, I love graffiti artwork because it's such a beautiful thing and it's such a unique. So I mean, because you, you got to get like your your right palm hands yeah. and stuff like that. When like, I was in an elementary or no no middle school, uh -huh. while the teacher was teaching, I was drawing like yeah. in my own like practicing. So I was always into just my own world with the art. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I, and, I, and I see your stuff too, because so sometimes I, I'll see your live stuff and I just see you just drawing, dude. And I'm just yeah. like, wow, that's fucking amazing, man. Like People will be ordering that shit, so I'm shit. I sometimes only want to do it. Yeah. But I'm like, money's calling, so you see? know damn well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start drawing it, but order, you know what I mean? I'm like, chee chee. I don't know, see the cash app and you know, the Venmo go. I'm like, okay, I got to do this. Yeah, yeah. And see? that's those are my letters right there on this one. Dude, that's dope, dude. That's my letters. That's dope. See, my, see, mine are like, mine are like stick figures and little circles and eyes. You know, so, I mean, I don't have that. Shit, I don't that's have that dope too. In. That's dope. We, we need to do a collab. <laughs> I'm down. So we got the same chain, look. Yeah, I know. Spencer. Shout out to the homie Spencer. Yeah, yeah Spencer. <laughs> cool, yeah. cool. And then, do you have anything else coming up for 2022? Shit, I'm working on tattooing. You know, okay. I, I'm like practicing that right now. So I, I got a lot of. I'm doing homework on that. Okay. But that's my next uh, goal that I want to work on and uh, how you say it, uh, perfect it in my own craft, which I just want to do lettering and my, my style. Dude, that's dope, You know, man. so it's like, I don't want to mess nobody up. So, I, you know yeah. what I mean? When yeah, you yeah. come to me, I'm like, I want whatever name you want, Maria yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And I'm going to write that shit and it's going to be dope. Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, like, 
that's what I'm working on. And just collab co collaborations with my art with companies. Yeah. Like Tech Day, I got one with Tech Day coming out. Oh, you got Tech Day coming out? Yeah. Oh, with what? Instagram. Oh, like, what? They're doing a. Damn, I don't know if I should say this. Oh, you can say you can say whatever you want to say. No, well, I'm, I don't know. If, I'm supposed to let it be known. Yeah. <laughs> but I let it be known. But yeah, I got a Tech Day little uh, collab. So that's going to be. I'm proud of that, you know. Dude, that's, that's sick, out. dude. And diamond too, diamond. You got some diamond gear coming out. Diamond uh, grip tape, but okay. I wrote diamond on a with my letters, mm -hmm. and they're gonna mass produce it. What? So, that's sick. Yeah. And, yeah. and you got any video parts or any working on parts or anything? Or nah, I want to, but I, I need to talk to Tony Mag about that. Yeah, yeah. I need to talk to you because I need a filmer that's like legit in house and legit. Yeah. And that's the only problem that I have right now. To not to, to put a video part out yeah. because I even want to see a video part of myself, but I have to have it legit because I have history of of uh, how can I say uh, video parts that are I haven't seen that that been filmed like Lee Dupont, you know Lee Dupont? Yeah, he has a video part of me when I was a youngster. Really? Yeah, I didn't even see and it. That's yet. just like three minutes what? of footage. That's like crazy footage. Damn, that's crazy. And I can't. Uh, Lee, you better give me that and put it out one day, motherfucker. <laughs> shit. You hear that, man? Put that shit put out. Put that dude. shit out, motherfucker. Stop playing. I'm gonna and come to your doorstep and, and, and take that footage. <laughs> and, and you have a special guest with you. Oh yeah, Marcel Johnson. Where's Marcel at? There he oh, there he is. There he is. Damn. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He gotta give you the mic. <laughs> What's up, Marcel? How you doing? Good, good. I'm good, I'm good. It's been I'm a minute since you. Yeah. <laughs> like last week? <laughs> last week. <laughs> at, uh, at uh, Point Loma. <laughs> right? Hey, 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 eating some food, son. Oh, yeah, look, look. we got the camera shots. Hey. There you go. Hey, my boy Lenny, we're just yeah. out here yeah. promoting, doing what we do. Mask on, mask off, you know what yeah. I mean? Every day, you know. Oh, so you're on A Street now, huh? I got the A Street board. I kind of been on there, but it's all like, you know, I never got a board from them, so that's what this is about. Okay. Tell you us know, about this board right here. It, it, it says it all. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it says it all. Look at it. Look at that. What the? What the f oh, it says it all. My favorite, son. Yo. <laughs> Only thing I can say is that... I mean, you got tit titties on her head, dude. Come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight, son. Yeah. Damn, I missed that photo shoot. What was that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That. You, know, no. you, you don't get to participate in <laughs> this one, buddy. They know it took her home. No. Hey. No. Shout out to Misha. Shout out to Misha. Shout out to Misha. <laughs> My homegirl me, she's a good, she's a good chick. Look, 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 pat that shit. shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> my shit. Sure, I love it. Like, oh yeah. yeah. This is how that's we, real story. how we came about. This is. I was supposed. To, I never had an H three board. Uh huh. So, my idea was like a green jacket, like a podium, and mm -hmm. have all the H three skaters out there. Yeah. And I'm talking to them, like thanking them. And then Mag hit me with this, and my only thing was we have to do it for real. So he's like, yeah, you know, they called the homegirl, my homeboy, uh, Chris Clicks. He knows uh, Misha, so she came through and we did it. And here we are right now. So are you, are you actually riding the bike or are you just sitting, up, sitting staying still? Yeah, fool. I'm, go <laughs> I'm going down the driveway in neutral, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, you know, so. Hey, I got a question to ask you. Did you ever get your glasses back from Martinez? Yeah, I didn't bring them this time. I got smart. <laughs> You know what I mean? So if you guys don't know, you can go watch on what episode was that? Season one, episode two? The first one, I believe. Oh, the second one? Second or this third is my, one? This is my fourth time on the show, and I ain't fourth got my time. own show yet. It was cracking me on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we win these days. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. And then, like, shout out, you know what I mean? This is, like, this Rodney Mullen, pay respects, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, pay respects? It's his old... Yeah, I don't know if y'all know the old Plan B graphic yeah. is what this came from. So it's like my, you know, paying homage to him, just like Hensley, yep. just like Lenny. You know what I mean? Those are the fucking OGs, you know. Yeah. So 
you gotta pay it back, you know. One thing about you skaters, know your history, because pretty soon you are history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real, sir. That's so, right, dude. That's right. Yeah. And, and then you got you got Tech Decks coming out, right? Oh, 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 yeah. What's, what's your Tech Decks, man? Nigga, nigga, bam, nigga. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh, Marcel right, Tech Decks. Yes. Hey, Rod James, Steve <laughs> James, don't be <laughs> still. Don't good. worry. He didn't steal your idea. No, no. <laughs> no, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. 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 I'll talk to you hey, those are pretty dope, huh? We need some listeners hey, here, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey tell, tell us about those tech decks. Um, these little tech decks is a uh, homie at local skate shop, Mark Johnson. He made some, and then I seen him, uh -huh. and he's like, "We're gonna run yours," and I was like, "Cool." And then they ran them, and then I was like, "Whoa!" And they're like real. Yeah. They come with a skate tool. You know what I mean? They fucking. You could tighten it, your truck's lean. It's like a real fi real fingerboard to me. Back then, we was in the sink, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, yeah. That does like Yeah, and then, you know, <laughs> or, or in the bathtub, nigga, for the bowl, nigga, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like big bowl. So this one is kind of like, like with those, you can do a G turn, nigga. Mm. <laughs> that says it all. You know what else I'm going to tell you, like on the real? You know, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get a knock on the door. Right. Tech Tech's going to be like, yo. I We're gonna come get it. <laughs> nah, we don't respect them. Nah, tech decks. Nah, 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 no problem with them. It's just, hey, you know yeah. I mean? I'm just kind of like, you know what? Why not? Yeah. But it's like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, shout out to Bob Hickman for making the graphics for us. You know what I mean? T Mag, it's all his idea, all his artwork. You know what I mean? So we just like, just trying to, you know, get it out there. Yeah. We still here, you know what I mean? We're just fucking. Doing we get it. older, we gotta go to work, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, you know, it get different. Yeah. As much as I wanna skate, but I gotta go to work and paint. Yeah, I gotta so. paint on skateboards now. Hey, that's you did my a good job, butter, man. You, you got a good one. So, that's how I do it. Paint where it ain't. Paint where it ain't. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what's up, you know? That's, that's, that's everything, that's what I do these days, and I'm just good. I've been sober for six years. Congratulations, man. I got oh, yeah. seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, 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 not for a round of applause. Oh, yeah. Not for a round of applause, but you should try it. It'll be, you know, you guys should try it one year. It'll be tight, you know? It'll be, it'll be, I'll be, I'll be proud of you. <laughs> so, before we take off, each one of you, what's the best advice you can give an upcoming skater? Best advice? Tommy. Well, can, well, speak your mind. What I would say is just have right, fun. Pass the mic, pass the mic. Here, you can uh, suck them all and let you. Just have fun <laughs> and what you do, you know? And that's it. You know, go with, you know? Yeah. It's easy. Just have fun. If, it ain't, if you ain't having fun, then you ain't doing it right. Straight up. It Straight ain't for facts. you. That's, Straight it facts. Ain't, it ain't for you. Yep. That's My it. advice is study your history first. So you know who paved the way, and have fun. And remember, when they get business, it ain't no fun. You you sending emails now, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> you're not down there fucking. You ain't kick flipping no more. You at the desk. You know why? Because you get a check no matter what. You can sprain your ankle and send an email. <laughs> Think about it. Get on the business side. Learn the shit that you don't know. Because if you don't know it, you don't know it. You wonder why your check's gone? You didn't look at it. You just took it and spent it. So, you know, just be aware. Look, open the books, you know what I mean? Like, look at stuff, pay attention. Pay attention, that's all I would tell you. Pay attention, keep skating, and you, pretty soon you'll be next to your favorite skater. Try not to piss your pants, you heard? <laughs> Leinster grip in the building. Real, real vice, real vice, real vice. Huh? Oh no, that's a secret. That's a good one. Huh? Huh? No, that's a secret. But there is. Look out for Tony Mag's Eight Street documentary. Oh, hear that? Hear that? Hear that? Come out in that bitch. A little feature, a little Leinster, uh, Leinster grip. At least the grip tape. <laughs> Leinster grip, Eight Street skateboards. Shout out to Matt Hensley, Rodney Mullen. Love you guys. You know what I mean? 
It's all about paying respect. Cool, cool. Well, thanks for coming on, dude. Stick around. And uh, this is a wrap for TSM Live Show, Season 5, Episode 1. I'm your host, Tommy Zam. I want to thank Good Bar uh, for allowing us to film Episode 1 here. I want to thank our guests for coming on to True Skateboard Mag Live Show. I also, too, want to thank all our sponsors for making Season 5 happen. Tune in next month for Season 5, Episode 2. Let's go, let's go. Bye-bye.